Okay, this is our Rage Studio, and I'm using a optical touch screen. This is the HP Touch Smart, and we're going to talk about using references. Most artists use references to draw from at one point or another, so we're going to see how it works here. So I'm going to open up my reference pod, choose some photos that I want to use as reference for my drawing. And I'm going to choose a third one. Okay, now I can position these drawings anywhere on the screen so it's not blocking the art. So I have access to them. I can expand the size. I can move it. And also I can zoom, zoom in and zoom out. Also I can move the photo inside the image area and I can do the same for the other images here also. Now, also reference images can be used for tracing for those who uh, like to do that. Now I'm gonna put an image. Now right now you can see it's a little light so I'm gonna make this a little bit darker so I can change the opacity. So we're gonna make that 80 okay so now you can see this image a little bit like this now also just so I'm also going to bring it in as a reference image so now this is it this reference image is what I have as a tracing image now this image is not on the canvas it's behind the canvas so now what I can do is if I'm doing working on a project and also if you notice down here it says use trace color click for normal color uh, but first I'm going to show you if I'm if I really am just using it as a tracing image I can just go in and trace the general outline of the mountain the tree area Now if I want to get more detail, I can take you can take more time to do that. But let's just say I just wanted the basic composition and shape of everything correct. Then this will be enough you know, for that purpose. So you can see now I'll just turn the tracing image off and you can see what's actually is on the canvas. Now another way trace image can be used is to automatically choose colors from the tracing image. So now, and you see the color palette disappears because now it's going to pick up color from the image. So now let's take a look at that. Turn the image off. So all these colors came directly from the image. So if you're trying to match the colors or want to use the same color scheme, then you can use that, this feature to do that. Okay, now I want to show you how to um, convert your tracing image to paint. So first let me get rid of uh, what I've done so far. So let me open up uh, my layers. And I'm going to add a new layer. Now you don't have to do this this way. I'm just for presentation purposes. I'm just opening up a new layer in case I want to go back to this later. Um, so now I'm going to turn off this layer here, and now I'm going to work on my new layer. Okay. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to convert the tracing image to paint. Okay. So now. Let's open up the layer again, and you can see that now this is actually on the layer. It's not a tracing image anymore. So now it's something that's actually um, usable. So now when I use paint, you can see it's, the image is actually becoming painted. Use the brush here. So if I turn tracing image off, 
then you can see how the paint is actually working better. So once again, I can get the color scheme directly from the painting. Oops. So it helps to be very conscious of your strokes so you don't do what I just, just did and put the color in a location you don't want it. a palette knife since this is water choose a soft palette knife and this will help to give some of the reflection effects for water because we may want to make it look arty and painterly Okay, so as you can see, I can create a kind of reflective effect using the palette knife at the soft setting. So I can use the palette knife, use the wet palette knife here to smooth out some of the painting and make them merge together. So this can become your base paint as you and as you can um, you do whatever you want. So you can use this as the base for fantasy painting, for a realistic painting, for a landscape, and add your own artistic individual touch to it. And so that completes the demo on reference and tracing images.